Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me. So we have another unboxing today, and this one is my favorite paper pumpkin. Here's what the box looks like. It is called A Kit in Color, May 2020. Let's open it and see what we have. Oh, I thought that was McDonald's. That's hilarious. Okay, so the Stampin' Spot color of the month is Misty Moonlight. Let me clean my camera real quick. Okay, it's Misty Moonlight. It says, oh, happy day. We have some rainbows, some plus signs. It says, hey, you're amazing. It's a, next month is a box of sunshine. Fun, okay. Bright pink paper. I can't get it out. Seems to be a running thing with me, doesn't it? There we go. in color so we have a rainbow card we have a your amazing card and we have one that says hey a few those are super cute here's the card we'll go over everything as usual in just a second ooh I love vellum we got some vellum paper tags I need to get the directions out of here let's save the cardboard for doing my bullet journal because this is a really nice thick cardboard Okay, let us see. Wow, I wish they would do the directions in color because in black and white, they're very difficult to see. Let's go through and look at what we have first. So we have the stamp and spot, we have the stamps, we have some vellum. In this bag we have glue dots, 3D the dimensional adhesives, and some pink and white twine. We'll set that off to the side, put our adhesives up here and our string over there. And then we have some, oh, these are dimensional little stars or asterisk signs in pink, lighter pink, blue, and green. Here we have some envelopes. They have a pink inside, a purple inside, and an orange inside. Here's what we stamp, and it looks like we have some clouds and a banner. So we'll punch those out in just a minute. There's some more punch outs, a rainbow, a banner, and a square. purple card, a rainbow card, um, I don't know what this is, it's like three sheets of vellum, so we'll hold on to that, and then we have the green cards. So what we'll start, what we'll do first is we'll fold the cards bone fold them or I don't have a bone folder but I do have my because if you see how they re they open if you don't apply pressure to the edges so hold on one second 
Okay, so this is the tool I use to do the folding. My, um, it has like a pickup tool or a pickup sticky side and then a pokey side. If I flip this over, it's a paddle. So that's not quite what I'm looking for. So what I do is I use this end to apply pressure to the crease. Because I don't have a bone folder yet. And then see how <clears throat> close this stays now on its own. It's a big difference. So let's fold the cards. Okay, those are all folded and creased at the edges. I need to get a bone folder really bad. But there's that. Now, let's take the punch outs, the clouds. We have a large cloud, a medium cloud, and a small cloud. And then we have a banner. And I just punched them all out at the same time. So we'll do the same to these. Here's an orange banner. Oops, you can't see that one over there. Let's put it over here. An orange banner. A block of color. And then this one looks like a giant rainbow on a stamp. The top and bottom are perforated. So we'll see what we're supposed to do with that in just a minute. Here's the vellum tags. I'm going to leave those in their sheet for now. Move the envelopes out of the way. Let's make some space to make some cards. I know you guys can't see some of the supplies. They're off, but I will show you. Oh, I need my stamping block. Okay, stamping block is right here. I got this on Amazon, but when you order your first Stampin' Up kit, you're supposed to get one. Mine ne never came. I don't know why. All right. Let's look at these cards really quick. Let's start with the rainbow one. It has an orange tag, the green card, the rainbow, and the envelope with the orange inside. And this one says, Oh, happy day. So let's start with that. It also has twine and a blue star dimensional. Stampin' Spot. It is perforated, but I always use the tip of my pickup tool to tear along the perforation line so I can open it up easier. And it's a navy blue. We'll ink up the stamp and stamp it on here. says oh happy day okay these are complete so now we need the rainbow the green card and the twine where's my tape runner I've rearranged everything. I can't remember where I left it. So we'll just use the adhesives from this one this time. No big deal. 
Okay, so this card is upright. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Today we are going to say goodbye to my daughter, Taryn. She's leaving for the Air Force tomorrow. So I'm going to do the Your Amazing card for her today. But first we'll start here. This is, it looks like a stamp. It's really neat. So let's get the adhesive spots and my pickup tool. And I'll just apply one to each corner. There's one, two, three, and four. And then we'll peel off the, um, the paper. A tape runner would be really good for this project right here. All right, move these off the card and we have to center the rainbow on the card. Okay, now we'll use the dimensionals, the big dimensionals here. We'll use these to apply Oh Happy Day. So let's get one of these. My pickup tool. And then we'll peel the paper backing off of these. And this goes towards the bottom, centered. And then we make a bow with the twine. I didn't go over supplies, I feel bad now. So you'll just need what comes in the box plus a pair of scissors. A pickup tool is helpful but not required. You could use tweezers or a toothpick even, a toothpick would work. Um, and that's all you really need. I have extra tools that I like to use. Let's see if I can make a bow here. Um, just to make it easier. I like to use my tape runner my adhesive runner. Um, I don't know how to make a bow when it's attached to something. Do you guys know how to do this? Maybe I'll just cut the string off and do it the easy way. All right. Why make things difficult? And then I can just cut. So I made two loops and I'll just do like a regular knot with the loops, tie them together. And then we have a little bow and I can adjust the size by pulling on either string. And we'll use an adhesive dot and then we'll cut the tails. An adhesive spot, I think is what they're called with paper pumpkin. And I'll stick it right here to the left of the rainbow. I think it's supposed to be under the rainbow, but that's okay. And we'll stick the knot right on the glue dot and then we'll trim the tails. There we go. Right in the trash it goes. So there's that one and that goes with the orange envelope. Next, you're amazing, which is the, which card is this? Hmm. I think it's the purple card. Yes. I really wish I knew where my tape runner was so I could show you how to use it. Hold on a second. Okay, I found it. 
my Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive. This is lignin and acid-free photo safe. Archival quality. Not sponsored, not selling. Just letting you know for your own knowledge. So we'll center this on this card. And this card opens this way. So this one takes the large uh, banner and a piece of vellum. Underneath that adheres right here up a little bit. Okay. Let's put some adhesive on this one. Wait, we have to go up a little bit. I almost stuck it down right at the bottom. There we go. And now here is the banner that we're adding on that we have to stamp that said it will say you're amazing. So here's my stamping block. We'll change this out real quick. Put the other one back. Take this one off. Oh, we forgot the stars on the other card. That's all right. We'll come back to it. We will come back to it. All right. Let's ink this one up. Okay. There might be some background noise. My husband just woke up and he's talking to the doggo. She's being a turkey butt. This stamp is acting a little weird, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we'll give it a good shot. I've inked this up like four times and it keeps separating. So hopefully as we go along, it'll get better. But this is how the first one turned out, which isn't bad. So let's add some dimensionals to the back. Uh, no. Yes, because we need some dimension. So we'll add the dimensionals to the back. One on each corner. Or one on each side and one in the middle. That's how we'll do it. I like to save these for other paper crafting projects too. They're lots of fun. To create dimension in your cards. I like them. I'm like collecting them okay so here we'll set it in the center and then we have to add a bow to the left side what? okay we've made another little twine bow we need a little spot adhesive for this to attach to the left side of the card here my pickup tool right here looks good and we'll add those dimensional star asterisk things asterisk things in just a second so we'll turn this sideways add the bow and then cut the strings the tails about that long. That's so cute. Okay. I like this card a lot. So here's the dimensionals. Oop, sorry, that's probably really loud. We'll add a green, a pink, and a blue. So green goes up here. Blue goes over here to the right with the vellum. And the pink one goes under amazing, the light pink. You're amazing. And this one goes with the pink envelope. So there's this one. 
Okay, so we need the rainbow card, the cloud, the stamp that says hay, which you'll be able to see in just a second. We'll need the small cloud and the medium cloud and the big square vellum sheet that they included. So let's ink up the stamp. See if I can slide everything over here. Okay. Let's stamp the cloud. So it says, hey, that's super cute. Okay, so we'll stick this one on with regular adhesive. And I'm gonna put it at an angle so that the word hey is straight. And then I'm gonna add the other two cloth. Oh no, I forgot the vellum sheet that goes under. I wonder if I can pull this off without totally destroying the card. Yikes. Okay, we're gonna save this project and make it work. So let's add some adhesive to this vellum sheet. Oh, where'd my cloud go? Here we go. We're gonna make this work, you guys. Okay, so this vellum sheet goes centered on this card, just like this. And then we put the cloud on top of it. So we'll try that again. So the back of this is a little torn up, but that's okay. We'll put hay right in the center, the hay cloud. And then we'll use dimensionals for the small cloud and the medium cloud. And then we also need another bow and some of the dimensional asterisk signs. So this one goes here. It doesn't matter which side of these you use. They're perforated along the edges on both sides. So I'll just stick one dimensional in each like poof of the cloud and then remove the paper backing and adhere it to the face of the card under the word hey under the letter H with the top bump here. There we go. And then now let's do this small one. Okay, now we need to make another twine bow and we need to adhere some of these dimensionals right here. So let's see, where do they go? The blue one goes above the word hay. Does it go on the cloud? Nope, it goes on the vellum and the card right there. And then the green and the pink go down here. And this is the bright pink. So green goes right on the vellum next to the lower cloud. And the pink goes half on the vellum, half on the card right here to make it exactly like the example or as close to it as we can get. And we'll get some more twine for another bow. See if I can do it. I just cut this a little bit shorter than I'm used to. Make two loops, cross them over, pull one through like a square knot, tighten it. Oh, that's really close. And then pull on the strings to make your loops a little bit smaller. Come on, it's all twisty on me. And this one goes it looks like on the edge of this cloud. So let's get a little adhesive dot. And we'll put it right here. Half on the vellum, half on the card. Take the paper backing off. Get the twine bow. And it looks like it goes at an angle like this. 
So we'll adhere the knot to the adhesive spot and then we'll trim the strings, the tails. There we go. And that's the last card. And here's all three cards together. You're amazing. Oh, happy day. And hey, thank you for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.